Hey, what's going on? Chris here from Games on Smash. Today I'm going to be going over a private peer-to-peer -peer networking program called Gigatribe. Um, for those of you that don't know what it is, a little bit of history. It originated in Europe, um, France to be exact, and as of this past CES, it's made its way to North America. Now the easiest way for me to um, explain how it works is for you to download it yourself. So let's get to it. Let's go to uh, www.gigatribe.com. Once on their website, click on the free download button and download 2.50. It's their latest uh, version. Once the download's complete, click on the, well, run the executable file. Let that load up. Now this is totally free, mind you. And uh, just follow the steps, easy as accepting the terms, clicking next, uh, finding out where you want to save it to, and running the file. So let's get into uh, how this baby works. So what you see on screen right now is Gigatribe Ultimate version 2.5 for Windows. Right now I'm on my, uh, my main screen, my network tab. Um, I've got my friends list, my games on Smash list, others, and uh, the Giga Pre the Giga Tribe press list. So as you can see here, I got games on Smash open. I've got two people connected at the moment. It shows what version they're using. It's using the same uh, version as me, as well as their last connection, uh, showing that one is connected at the moment and another one is away. So let's see what he has sharing. He's sharing is my shared folder, granting me read-only access. Um, if I open it up, it shows a list of what he's got. In version 3, you could see thumbnails of uh, each file. So let's go uh, download Rubber Band Man. It also gives options you can shut down after it's completed. Uh, you could pause the download. Let's go to the transfers page and see it's under download. It's downloading right now. Um, and also you can see that people are uploading off me. So basically what's happening right now is I'm downloading something off his hard drive and putting it on mine and he's downloading stuff off my hard drive putting on his. So he can go in and get files whenever he wants uh, and I could go in and get stuff whenever I want. I could also change settings up in here this page shows you uh, the upload and download settings, how many per user, and if you want a, um, a speed limit. It also changes, you could also change your destination folder in here as well. Alright, so let me show you guys how to share your folders. Click Modified My Share Folders, and here it says I'm not sharing any at the current time. Um, navigate to what folder you want to share to. Uh, group or any certain people here. I'll share my games on Smash folder. Left side click share folder. A uh, box pops up. This box is your security settings or your folder properties. You could change the name, the access type, um, give it a size limit if you want. If you want to, if they can write to it, you can give it a size limit. Um, or leave it read only and they can't alter anything in that aspect. You could either do authorizations to certain groups or to anyone on your list, as well as you could set password to it. Um, so it's pretty secure in that aspect. So as you can see, I'm sharing my games on Smash folder. Access is full access. You could unshare a folder and modify it in the future if you'd like as well. So uh, nothing's ever set in stone. Also, um, you could add files to a folder that's already being shared or add folders to a folder that's already being shared. As you can see, I'm already sharing my games on Smash folder and I'm going to add movies. Um, under movies folder, I'm going to drop the Dark Knight in there. And just as fast as I add it, people can download it from me. Uh, if people look under my account or under my name, check out my folder it's under movies as soon as I added it it shows up open element and the movie starts playing 
Now, like every other program out there, there's a chat integrated into it. You could either privately or publicly message your friends. Um, as you can see right now, I'm going to uh, privately message Blip here. This is a test. And it says, from me to Blip. You can either go to, you know, choose other people. I'm going to do ESCO right now. It's a second test. And it says, from me to ESCO. Do the same thing with Lex. You guys get the idea? Also, you could public message by choosing a group. And everyone inside that group will get that message. Or you could do all users in general. And everyone will get whatever you type. Now, I wouldn't think this program is as good as it is if it didn't have a search. Uh, the search integrated into this client is amazing. Um, it gives you the location where it's finding these files. You could choose what group, you know, from you could search particular people or group in general. Um, you know, it's it's just what I want. Let's say a buddy wants me to go download this file. Uh, it's in his folder. Go to his name and um, simply type in whatever you want. Let's say Lex wanted to send me something. I don't know the name of it. Go under search in Lex. Uh, type in a file name and it'll pop up. You also have the option to go to the location and see what else is in that folder as well. Simple as that. Y'all know what it is. Alright, so the only downside that I found is that there's no Mac version available. If you go to their site and check their FAQs, uh, you'll see that they did plan to release it late 2008, but now it's early 09 and it's still not out. Um, so I just can't wait for that to come out because you know I rock my Mac. But, you know, that's pretty much it. Overall, it's a great system. Um, you're going to definitely want to go download it, try it out yourself. And, uh... Have some fun with it. Alright, so that's it. It's Chris here coming from Games on Smash. Until um, next time.